So Set 11 has just come out and Exalted has instantly become a fan favorite. If you're not aware, the units that can have this trait changes every game, which is what players love because now there's a unique puzzle in every single game and you can get some amazing rewards from solving that puzzle. The damage amp from your board is insane regardless of what comp you're playing and getting that extra XP feels great to keep tempo or even get ahead of the lobby. So with all of these benefits and with how many people absolutely adore this trait, surely Exalted is a perfect trait, right? No, not quite. There's a pretty big problem with Exalted where going for and playing around 3 is way too good, but playing around and aiming for 5 isn't ever really worth it. Honestly, it's insane to say, but 3 Exalted is stronger than 5. But why is that the case? What are the other reasons for Exalted being so amazing? And is Exalted truly the greatest trait of all time? But before we get into that, I'd like to thank you guys if you tuned into my climb on stream. It went surprisingly well, to be honest. I managed to get within the top 300 players, so that's pretty good, right? I also started the 5 Exalted challenge, which initially was going pretty well, but then things took a turn for the worse, and yeah, it was pretty bad. But from that, I learned a lot about Exalted, which I share with you today with some of my thoughts. So let's start with the other reasons why Exalted is so good. First and foremost is the fact that the Exalted combinations you get per game isn't entirely random. While each game has a random combination of champions, the units in that combination are not random. In fact, there are 60 combinations of Exalted with the devs having pre-assigned those combos. There's a full list of combos on Meta TFT, which I'll link in the description. But these preset combos is the core reason why Exalted is so good. The devs have made it so the units don't have extreme synergies with each other, but also they don't have none whatsoever. So the puzzle you can present in each game is an actual puzzle that is neither trivial nor impossible to solve. And so some of the combinations aren't instant wins or instant losses. But in the case where some combinations are too good or too bad, they can easily tweak each combination by moving the Exalted trait around to another unit. This core cool reason keeps this trait alive and thriving in my opinion. Not only is the trait random each game, but you're also never rewarded or punished too heavily by this randomness. Actually, Exalted probably leans towards being more rewarding because you get bonuses from playing around the randomness if you include it in your comp. So as a player, you never attribute any fault to the trait because again, it's a puzzle you have the option of solving, but it just comes down to how well you can solve that puzzle in your specific game. And I love the XP egg that Exalted gives you because you only gain the XP when you sell that egg. So it means you can either reroll or spam levels freely. You can just do what you want. Exalted is beautifully thought out and designed and it clearly shows. Anyway, another reason is that your strongest board changes based on what units are Exalted in that game. This is something that hasn't really changed in the past few sets, but now with Exalted it's different, which adds so much great and healthy variation to each game. And through Exalted, there's another dimension around getting emblems or spatulas through augments or otherwise, because now those spats don't just enable large verticals, but also comps that incorporate or even focus on Exalted. So now you can factor in more items, spats, or units you have alongside what the Exalted is that game, which encourages you to play different units, different boards, and even deviate from the meta comps. So overall, this trait enables flexibility and gives you huge rewards for that flexibility. Exalted is a very TFT-esque trait, like augments and portals, and as such, I think something like Exalted should always be in TFT. But having said that, despite all the positives, there are still some negatives. That being mostly that 3 Exalted is too high value, while 5 has too little. What I mean by this is usually with 3 Exalted, you don't have to vary your comp that much to enable it. And it's even common for meta comps to have variations while they splash 3 Exalted. So sometimes you don't need to vary your comp that much to get an insane damage bonus. It's usually not that difficult throwing in 3 units to enable this trait, especially if those units are of higher cost. And that in itself is a problem. At only 3 Exalted, players aren't really engaging much with the trait and the puzzle solving it brings, but those players are still getting the rewards like the XP and damage boost. But then when you fully engage with the trait and group of 5 Exalted, then you also run into more problems. That being that primarily, 5 Exalted usually isn't worth it because you will have dead weight units that don't provide value to your board. And if you saw my Exalted challenge and how it went, usually the power of 5 Exalted isn't enough to offset that. You can genuinely play a stronger board with just 3 Exalted as you drop the deadweight units for higher costs like Legendaries. It's kind of wild when you think about it because the damage amp from 3 Exalted at level 8 is 12%, but then if you go 5 Exalted it shoots up to 24%. But even if the damage amp is literally double, if they're dead units that can't use the damage amp, then it's not really worth it. 
Dropping 5 exalted for the legendaries like Quay or Lissandra is just better because they provide far more value to your board through extra items or duplicated units. Think about it this way, what's more useful, a 24% damage amp for an itemless Nar or a 12% damage amp for Lissandra? The answer should be pretty obvious. And most of the time, your board will deal more damage if your frontline is stronger because your backline has more time to deal more damage. So while that extra 12% damage amp is nice, going for it can be extremely detrimental, especially if your frontline will suffer for it. Essentially, 3 Exalted is too splashable because you do not usually need to twist your comp that much, but the same cannot be said for 5 Exalted, and 5 Exalted just isn't rewarding enough. Which leads me to believe that 3 Exalted is just stronger than 5, which is insane to think about. I mean, they could easily add something like damage reduction or some sort of tankiness to make up for how detrimental 5 Exalted can be, but I feel like that's a very slippery slope because of how powerful Exalted can be in the right conditions. And that leads me to what I learned about Exalted through the Exalted Challenge, which I'll share with you now. So the biggest thing I noticed was how insane some augments could be with Exalted, especially those that gave any raw stats like Gifts from the Fallen or tons of stats. All these raw stats get scaled up so much by Exalted and it results in so much insane damage. Any augments that give raw stats are amazing with Exalted, which is kind of why if it gave damage reduction, Exalted could just become way too OP. Anyway, in my 5 Exalted challenge, I noticed that it was really difficult to play 5 Exalted early game without losing a ton of HP. Again, 5 Exalted is really powerful, but from what I could tell, it's only really good at level 10 when you play around legendaries and you have enough board space to play everything. But before you can get there, you need to stabilize, usually around level 8, so you can eventually go level 10. And that is not easy to do with 5 Exalted at all, because at level 8, you'll only have space for 3 units. It is just better to play 3 Exalted and then keep the option of 5 Exalted open. But generally, with Exalted, you need to identify which units can function without their traits being active. For example, units like Annie, Azir, Huey, and Lissandra are extremely powerful and they don't need any traits to be active for them to pop off. Whereas units like Kaiser really want traits like Trickshot active to drastically increase their DPS. So once you identify which of the Exalted units don't really need the traits active and which do, building a comp from there becomes quite easy, honestly. But again, I found that I could only ever safely go level 9 or level 10 was if I high rolled like finding Huey at level 7. Otherwise, playing around level 8 was the most consistent. But another issue I came across is forecast carries just being weak overall, so it was really rough. If you're not at least level 9 or 10, 3 Exalted is just better than 5. 5 Exalted only gets better than 3 when you can build all of your units without being impeded too heavily by the deadweights. And as I learned the hard way, trying to include these deadweight units on your board is usually never worth it. But hey, one of the cool things I learned about Exalted is that it works with Champion Conference. So if you want to find those Exalted units sooner, this portal helps a lot. But now with everything considered, let's ask the question. Is Exalted the best trait of all time? You can probably already expect my answer here, but that's a no from me. 3 Exalted is just too good, whereas 5 isn't. However, one of the best things about Exalted is that it's a layered trait that adds on top of existing traits. Which means that since this trait can be incorporated into a set at the very last minute once all the units and traits have been completed, a trait like Exalted can be transferred across sets. So while I don't think this current version of Exalted is the greatest of all time, I am almost certain the next version of this trait absolutely will be. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll make changes to Exalted in the next few patches that'll fix all of these problems. I'd be down. But for now, I do plan on continuing the Exalted challenge, but in 14.7. That's because units like Ash and Kaiser are seeing buffs in the next patch, and these units tend to be the core of a lot of Exalted comps I make. So make sure you tune in to see how it's going. Let's see how far I'll be able to go. But yeah, that is everything I wanted to mention in this video. Honestly, Exalted is an amazing trait. I cannot give enough credit to the designers for this one. With a little tweaking, we have another treasure like portals and augments in our hands. But now I should probably hand over the questions to you guys. What do you think about Exalted? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it the best trait of all time? And are there any other flaws with the trait? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe and join the Discord. Anyway, check out these other videos if you want to see more from me. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.